Hey everyone, I got a couple of new brushes in the mail the other day. And so today I want to just show you a bit of a review on both of them. And these are Squirrel mop brushes that I got from a company called Golden Maple. And Golden Maple provided these brushes as a sample for the purposes of this video and review. But I've been really looking for some new Squirrel mop brushes for some time. Ones that I've been using are starting to wear out. And as you can see, the tips just really has now become quite dull. It's very important to have mop brushes with a sharper tip on top that just allows you to cut around shapes, especially when you're getting in those larger washes. But I want to have a go with these two brushes and let's see how good they are. Um, they are at picking up water. But I'll show you a little bit, a little bit of a close up of the brushes. Okay, so you can bit of an idea of the quality okay, and you can see there's these wire bits of wrapping at the front that's holding the, the bristles on and a bit of binding uh, material there well plastic that's just being bound essentially to the to the wire it's connected in four places nice sort of sharp tip very soft as well. This is squirrel, squirrel hair. So it will pick up a lot of water. And, you know, the whole, whole handle as well feels very premium. Just see the grain and the pattern of the wood underneath there. Amazing. This is number two brush the end of it's got this bit that pops out a bit it's just i guess it's a part of the design here's a number 10 pretty much quite similar but just this you know, larger size basically wood is a bit darker on this model i like how all the they're using proper wood and yeah, you can see here it's the same thing on the back, this same sort of design there. Okay. It was very nicely weighted. So let's go ahead and see how they both perform on some paper. I'm going to use the smaller one first and maybe just start off with a bit of glue for the sky, a bit of a sky wash. And, you know, already I can see when I'm going into the palette and sort of into the paints as well. It's picking up the paints very, very easily. And look at how much water that brush is holding. This is incredible. Yeah. Don't get, you don't get that through any synthetics, that's for sure. Uh, very, very difficult. So, I mean, just with a couple of, you know, basically one reload, I'm able to get in this entire sheet of, Paper there. You can get in a bit of maybe some color for the sky or something. Let's see if I can get in some cloud shapes here. Maybe some purple there. Darker kind of cloud shapes. And you can see because of the smaller tip, I can actually get in smaller clouds and little shapes very easily. I'm getting maybe some darker, I don't know, branches or something coming through the side up here, maybe. Usually with these mop brushes, very versatile. You get away with painting, very simple paintings with just one mop brush because of that smaller tip up the top and when it comes down to you know watercolors these larger washes play such an important role really can't 
you know, you really can't sacrifice on that. So quality mop brush is absolutely crucial. But that is that is amazing. Um, the amount of water this brush is able to pick up, and the fact that I'm also able to detail so easily, you know, able to scrub away at the palette because I've got a lot of dry paints here. As you can see, scrub away nicely on the palette and activate those paints much more easily than synthetic brush. And I'll just go and use this larger one. Let's see. Let's see how this one goes. This is really this one's picking up a lot of water. Maybe I'll go with yellow or something. Yellow and red. Okay, that is so easy. Look at that. It's just I don't even need to reload. Um this brush you'd use for something like an A3, A4, A3 size bit of paper. A bit too big, this bit of paper. Put in this, maybe like a bit of a foreground or something here. Yeah. A cloud shape top there. Amazing how I can still get in some little details with the tip of this brush. Mm, such a large brush like this. It's doing the job. And you can see the importance of using a large brush with these with these bits of paint mixing together. You need to be able to do this quite quickly. And if you're going back and forth, just continually reloading your brush all the time, you're gonna find that an air is just gonna dry off and you're gonna miss that opportunity to blend. So yeah, I mean, this is pretty much a larger version. The number 10 is a pretty much a larger version of the number two. And yeah, I've used tons of squirrel brushes out there and this is indistinguishable from ones that I've paid you know, five to six times more. So really, really good deal. Definitely using these in my paintings for that first wash. It's so crucial. You want to invest a bit of money to make sure that you have a decent mop brush to do your first wash because that's the most important bit. So, you know, and the fact that you don't have to spend a lot as well with these brushes can compare to a lot of other squirrel brushes out there. I think these are an excellent deal. They're well constructed, built premium. Make sure you check the link in the description if you're interested in purchasing either of these brushes. This is the first time I've dealt with this company, Golden Maple, and overall I'm very impressed with their quality, as I mentioned before. You know, I can't tell the difference between these brushes and, and brushes that I've paid, you know, three, four, five times. So if you're a beginner or you're an advanced artist, wouldn't hesitate in recommending either of these brushes, especially at this price point. That's about it, but I'll also do a pretty long-term review later on and see how they end up holding up. But uh, thanks for watching.